Ji Song, who has a successful career in the South Korean film and television industry, has enacted roles spanning numerous genres. The actor is just so talented and versatile that he easily captures the essence of each character he dons. His charming nature and good looks make him a favorite of the audience. He has established himself as one of the best actors in South Korea's entertainment industry. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Ji Song. He decided on the stage name after seeing his fortune. Kwok Tae-gyun, who has the stage name Ji Song, was born on February 27, 1977, in Seoul, South Korea. When he made his acting debut, his manager at the time thought of changing his name to Che Ji Song, but they eventually decided to drop the Che. He said to El Korea, the name Kwok Tae-gyun is nice, but when I take a look at my fortune, the tree and fire elements are strong, but it's lacking the element of earth. I asked about the thing that should be done, and it was suggested that I choose a new name for myself. Using the character G from Earth, it became G Song. His childhood dream was to become a baseball player. We like to think that those who make it big have been gunning for it since day one. But that's not necessarily the case. In fact, plenty of famous faces had childhood dreams that were wildly different from what became their reality. Ji Song got to showcase his pitching skills when he was invited to throw the first pitch for the Doosan Bears at the 2017 Korean Baseball Organization League's opening match between the Doosan Bears and Hanwha Eagles. Of that experience, he said, when I was younger, my dream was to become a baseball player. This is a dream come true for me. All In is considered as breakthrough drama. In the 2003 action romance drama series that revolves around the competitive world of gambling, Ji Song played the son of a movie theater owner and was a model student, but later grows up to be rebellious. He was a second male lead, next to veteran actor Yi Byung Han and starring alongside leading Lady Song Hek Yo. The fun fact about this project is that other actors didn't want to be part of this series, as they were worried about being outshone by the talented actor Yi Byung Han, but Ji Song knew it was a great opportunity and volunteered for the role. The series was a smashing hit, and he became wildly popular. This was also considered as breakthrough drama. He was mentally tormented during filming Innocent Defendant. The actor starred in 2017 drama Innocent Defendant as Pak jong u a successful prosecutor who gets blamed for his wife and daughter's deaths, and is labeled as Death Row 3866 in the blink of an eye. His false charges cannot be dropped easily due to the fact that he cannot remember anything. During the drama's press conference, Ji Song revealed how he was mentally tortured during filming as he said, I was tormented, and I couldn't stand the mental pain, so I exercised and spent more time looking through the scripts, and I thought in depth that the person Pak jong u is not me, it's just a character, an imaginary role, and I wondered how he would feel, I ended up losing a lot of weight on my face. I lost around 6 kilograms. Compared to how much I exercised, I didn't lose that much, but my heart was empty my heart was empty, and I was disappointed. For a while, I cried a lot. During filming and while I was on standby. He also said that he kept having dreams of him hanging on the verge of death or saving a family from distress. He was involved in the discussion of the Devil Judge's story. In the 2021 drama Devil Judge, he starred as Kung Yo-hun, a head judge with mysterious intentions who uses evil to combat evil. He is a figure who walks a secretive path along the border of good and evil in the dystopian world. In an interview to promote the drama, Ji Song revealed, I've known the writer Yu Sok for a long time. I was thinking about what to try next. He told me that he wanted to write about a devil judge. I was like, oh, that sounds good. This drama was made to make a chance to think like, instead of the good winning the evil, why don't we try to think about evil in a different way? If there's a better way, why don't we think about it that way? I'm thankful for having this chance. He wasn't the first choice for Kill Me Heal Me. The role for this 2015 series was initially offered to other actors, like Yun Bin and Lee Soon Gi. Healing rom-com Kill Me Heal Me had troubles with casting, but Ji Song didn't mind that he wasn't the first or even second choice and still took on the role. He proved to be a perfect fit for the role of Cha Do Yun, a third-generation business heir who developed dissociative identity disorder and has six other identities. For the role, he bagged home four trophies from MBC Drama Awards, Top 10 Stars, Top Excellence Actor, Grand Prize, and Best Couple Award with his bromance co-star Pak Sa Jun. He also won Special Award at the 10th Asian TV Drama Conference, Best Performer at 28th Korea PD Awards, and Best Actor at the 4th Annual Drama Fever Awards. 
He was UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. A goodwill ambassador is a notable public figure who advocates for a particular cause, participates in the exchange of ideas, and helps in spreading awareness about the global issues surrounding the cause. A UNICEF goodwill ambassador is appointed by the United Nations Children's Fund to protect and uphold children's rights all over the world. Ji Song was appointed as a UNICEF goodwill ambassador in 2017, where he advocated for children's education and undertook a field visit to Bhutan to spread awareness regarding the same. He visited a remote primary school in Punaka and encouraged children to study hard and stay healthy to realize their full potential. He revealed to suffer from spondylosis. The actor revealed for the first time that he has been diagnosed with spondylosis on TVN's entertainment program run. Spondylosis is a type of arthritis spurred by wear and tear to the spine. It happens when discs and joints degenerate, when bone spurs grow on the vertebrae or both. These changes can impair the spine's movement and affect the nerves and other functions. He surprised both the producers and viewers with his confession of a medical diagnosis. He said, when I went to the hospital, they told me I had spondylosis and that I'll have to endure discomfort and inconveniences in my life. There are things that are easy for other people, but difficult for me. For example, other people brush their teeth easily, but for me, I have to use a lot of force with my shoulders and it caused a lot of symptoms in my back, so I have to be extra careful when I exercise. He loves ramen, but he has to avoid it. As he gains weight easily, he has to avoid his favorite food ramen when he has a drama to film. As soon as the drama is over, he goes back to his normal eating patterns. When he makes ramen, he likes to mix powder from two different brands. He said, just a sight of the ramen powder makes me happy. He almost gave up his acting career for Ibo Yong, Ji Song has been married to actress Yi Bo Yong since 2013, and they have two children. During a past interview, Yi Bo Yong revealed that back when they first met, she had not considered dating a fellow celebrity at all, so she rejected him initially. But Ji Song told her that he was willing to give up acting for her in order to win her heart. Well, thank goodness for K-drama fans he didn't.